A young Iranian woman who spent nearly two years in immigration detention in Australia has been released on a bridging visa. The decision by the immigration minister shocked her supporters in Brisbane who've been campaigning for her freedom. Shani Kim has the story. The road to freedom has been a painful one for Mojgan Shamsalapur and her family. After nearly two years in detention, the 22-year-old walked free into the arms of her husband. It was unbelievable. It was like a dream that I, every night I had dream about it. Mojgan Shamsalapur fled from horrific abuse in Iran four years ago. In Brisbane, she went to high school, found love, got married. But two months later, her application for refugee status was rejected and she was detained again. Her husband and old high school have been campaigning for her release ever since. I never, f I never gave up. She's such a beautiful person and she deserves to be free. And, um... The happiness is indescribable. A little bit. <laughs> Today, there was much to celebrate, but also questions why a young woman still finishing high school had to be locked up in the first place. What's happened with Mojgan has caused so much pain and heartache, and it, in my opinion, it was needless. And although she's been released, she remains in limbo. The minister has not gone far enough to allow her any certainty over her future or the opportunity to leave in Australia permanently. Mojgan Shamsalapur was one of several people released from immigration detention today. The federal government says they've been granted temporary bridging visas to reduce the number of people in detention. They are not refugees and are expected to return to their countries of origin. They will not have access to permanent stay visas. The young couple's legal team is exploring options to help Ms Shamsalapur stay in Australia. Yeah, we are, We're um, living at the, at the present, I yeah. think. I'm happy that I'm free and I can be with yeah. him and with my family. For now, they're just happy to have another chance at life together. I'm holding her hand. <laughs> I can't believe this. But their fight isn't over. Shani Kim, ABC News, Brisbane.